so the last video uh, ended as I was discussing Seriani as Seriani asset managers uh, were acknowledged that they have the highest return in the market as per my calculation here and even as per my October calculation they also had a very high return and I was actually giving insights on how they able to offer such a return so this is a good return but go to my detailed web posts and you'll see the factors that I consider to assess the reasonability of returns given by money market funds and then you can make your own decision uh, other than that I think then we go to the next fund manager which in this case is Sunlam and this is my own uh, money market fund statement so obviously I've deleted the details personal details but however you can see I normally withdraw uh, regularly from my from my money market fund but I also replenish it uh, quite often and the reason for this is I primarily also use the money market fund as an emergency fund for my investments so I will use them to accumulate capital and then when there is a bargain in the in, in a certain asset class I withdraw the money and I will invest at that bargain price so a good example is the uh, shares so at some point the shares for example at, at some points are sold at bargain prices because of maybe the information out there in the market which obviously might be negative but doesn't mean that it affects the fundamentals of the company a good example is when banks were affected by the interest capping uh, rate announcement and I remember banks like KCB know that I invested in it but was at 25 bob whereas right now it's almost up to 45 bob or DTB which was at 100 uh, which dropped to 100 and then rose up to 190 uh, and back again to 150 so this demonstrates that you can actually withdraw money from your money market fund and take advantage of such movements in the market and this goes on obviously to uh, times when you hear that there's a piece of land that's being sold for uh, a bargain price because maybe of some distress with the seller etc etc it applies in all asset classes if there's a bargain then you invest in it as long as the fundamentals for that asset class are strong and in terms of uh, analyzing the real yield it's quite simple I think now by by now you have the gist of how to calculate this so is that that first December I had that amount which is what I have here and then because I'd withdrawn funds uh, I only earned 669 shillings so that formula shows the withholding tax so some of them got it right there and then it would mean that the net return before withholding tax is 7.54 uh, well as the published published rate is 7.45 so the two are not far off so it means that uh, Sunlam uh, publishes a fee net of a uh, return net of their fees um, and maybe as a customer the things that I know about Sunlam is that they have the lowest management fee of 1.2 percent against the, an industry average of 2 percent uh, personally these withdrawals I got them within a day and maybe it's because we share a bank uh, in Stanbic but I find it an excellent feature that I don't struggle to get my money back they will send you purchase confirmations anytime you purchase units via email and via SMS and uh, whereas the security of the statement is not to the level of Britam uh, I still find it acceptable because it has a password and then uh, it's in PDF format still discussing Sunlam uh, as a consumer obviously I have more insights one of the things I love about Sunlam is this new feature that they they actually brought it in 2019 where they discuss money market instruments and how they are performing so you can see for example the 91 day TB was at 7.02 uh, percent and then on 8th February and this is a weekly report was at 7.04 this means that uh, as per my post this is the minimum gross return you expect from a money market fund if somebody is offering you uh, lower than this you need to ask yourself a question 
and then you have your three sixty four day T bin at nine point five five and which went up to well actually went down from nine point six four to nine point five five and in my book this is the maximum gross return you should expect from your money market fund if somebody is uh, offering you higher than this you need to ask yourself where are they investing your money and are they exposing you to capital loss so i like that uh, they also give insights on the performance of the kenya against the US, kenya shilling against the usd and the performance of the nairobi stock exchange through these benchmarks so uh, I mentioned that last year, the in in part one, in the part one video that the stock market returned negative returns, but it's doing very well this year. And obviously, people who bought it, who bought the shares at the bargain prices, are now smiling all the way to the bank. The S and P bond index. This is a, a US a index that tracks the bonds there. So this has gone up. Anytime you see things in the US going up, it usually affects us here because then foreign investors invest back home rather than here. Um, and then they have some commentary there. Uh, and I think that ends the lesson. So these are the unit trust rates as of 13 February 2018. So those are the, are the amounts 20, 20, where? supposed to be 2019 but those are the amounts that uh, are published here mm -hmm. so i hope this has been a useful lesson visit the web post for the detailed lesson on the same